the last couple of days I've heard um, at least twice um, a, a client or a, um, yeah, a, a potential landlord talking to me um, and, or talking to somebody else as well uh, and, and getting some, some two, two things confused. One, not understanding a basic thing and um, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up and I'll get on with the explanation. Um, I'm in a house and this is the kind of house that the person that I was speaking to couldn't understand why we were buying it. Um, so what I thought I'd do first of all, all is explain how we um, choose a house. I think a fundamental part of being a good landlord is uh, acquiring the right properties at the right price. Um, it seems you know, unrelated to you know, what, how does that affect your tenant for example, but um, real life example this week a landlord was getting very despondent about the property they owned and when you dug into the numbers um, it wasn't making them any money. Uh, they couldn't afford to do the maintenance, that's what prompted the conversation, the maintenance that was necessary to keep their tenant happy, uh, because they paid too much for the house. Simple as that, the, the basic acquisition numbers of the property weren't, uh, weren't right in, I was going to say in my opinion, but I think it plays out in fact, in, it just, they just weren't right. They couldn't afford to be the good land landlord they wanted to, do, to be, they couldn't afford to, um, uh, to do much of the house, they were flat footed basically, they, they couldn't uh, release any equity to do anything to make the, make the repairs that were necessary uh, and it wasn't making them enough money. So I'll run through what the basics are and then what I'm particularly talking about um, is, an, is a, a house that isn't basic, it's a slightly different property um, and you've got to understand the reasons that you'd want to buy it because when you understand the basic um, sort of premise, but yeah, the kind of houses that we, uh, that we acquire, you might think that this isn't, doesn't quite tick those boxes but for me it ticks the boxes and, and more but you've got to sort of maybe a, a bit more advanced to understand it. So the first, the first thing I'm going to draw on uh, on the wall here is the hundred thousand pound pounds. I use a hundred thousand pounds because you're not going to be able to see that. I've got pens to colour in as well. So we use hundred thousand pound pounds because it's easy for um, for maths, isn't it? Uh, yeah, every, every pound, every hundred thousand pounds is one percent. So uh, I'm going to bring it a bit closer in a minute. But this section here is what we're going to buy it for. This section here is what we're going to spend on renovation. And this section here is our margin. It's what we would have if we were to sell this property, and we're never going to sell the property, it was what we would have as a profit. Um, it's what we're going to be able to use to refinance and um, it's, it's, the, it's the key element of being able to build your empire. So there we are, look, uh, the £100,000 house. And, uh, whoa, your little uh, clever selfie stick's not going to like that. There we go. Right, so we've got that back. And the £100,000 house. See that all there, yeah, cool. Um, so, really simply, how do we... Um, decide what it is that we're going to offer on, the, 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 the price that we're going to offer on. So the total value is 100% or £100,000, simple as that. Um, we want a 20% or £20,000 margin. That, that is what we want to make. Now that just makes sense, doesn't it? If you think that we're going to try and refinance this property out, um, it, 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 how much deposit would a bank want you to put down? Probably 25, 20 to 25% um, deposit. Now, I can tell you now, if you try and make that number 25% in today's market, you won't buy any houses. Uh, you might get 22, 23. Every now and again, you'll get a 25 for sure. Um, but if you hold out for it all the time, you just won't be buying any houses. So you've got to be realistic. If you want to be a landlord that keeps acquiring, then you've got to be at about 20% in this market. Hasn't always been the case. Yeah, there's been plenty of times in, in the past where you'd be able to get more than that. But if on the £100,000 house you want a 20% margin, really important, you've got to do some work. You, know, you, you are not going to be able to negotiate that margin just by going over to somebody's you know, doing, doing a viewing and say, I will offer you 20% less than it's worth. It just, just doesn't happen. Um, you've got to be buying this kind of house. Look at it. You know, we'll have a look around later, but you know, let's have a little look through this door and you'll see the kind of house that we're in, you know. It's 
gonna need some work. If I was downstairs, you'd see that uh, the kitchen and the bathroom are you know, pretty grotty. I'm, I'm in here in the house and I found a nice white wall, so we'll stick with this. But we're gonna be doing some work in this house and that's really important because that's gonna make us that margin there. So I'm gonna say that the work in this house is gonna cost 15,000 pounds. It isn't, it's going to cost slightly more or less, I don't know, but um, really important to note that, you know, this is not a £100,000 house I'm sat uh, stood in here. Uh, rarely is something exactly £100,000, rarely do these numbers exactly match. It's, 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 it's a, a nice uh, experiment. Really important, £100,000, £20,000, 20% margin, and it's going to cost £15,000 to do the work. Here is our offer price, just there, £65,000 thousand pounds it's as simple as that in order for me to get my 20 percent margin if it's a hundred thousand pound house it's going to cost fifteen thousand pounds to do the work i can only offer six to five thousand pounds simple as that 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 is you know that that is the uh, yeah, the secret to our business it's no secret we just want to want to do that there's some really important uh, work that we have to do here uh, we need to um make sure the list of works right and the money's right. So how do you make that 15,000 pounds? You need to make sure you're doing the right work for the right amount of money. So that's important too. Okay, so most people at this stage, if I've still got you, you've got it, you know. If, if, you, if you haven't, um, yeah, pick up the phone, come and see us. Uh, we can explain that in, in a lot of detail. That is the kind of deal that we, we love to buy. And you can see why, if you do that deal, um, Buy for 65, spend about 15, the thing's worth 100,000 pounds at the end, you're going to recycle out most of your money. Of course, you're all now screaming, saying, you know, what about solicitor's fees and stamp duty and all those things. It's just a little experiment thing. Of course, all, of course, all those things are built in. We build a contingency in, um, yeah, all, all those things. Now, if you can buy that kind of property, you'd buy it all day long. Assuming, and it, it you know, there's a tick at the end of there saying that the rent is, for this property, uh, let's say 600 pounds per calendar month. Um, and, and, and that's it. That is momentum investing as, as, we, as we stand. Now, I'm in another type of property and, I've, and I've, I've written it down here because when you get a property that is worth 100,000 pounds and we are talking now about the kind of properties that we buy. We buy, we buy properties anywhere between 50 and 100,000 pounds and there's only 50,000 pounds difference in that, but one is twice as much as the other. When you're looking at the properties, they're very, very similar, but one's twice as expensive. And, and this is kind of my point, the thing that I'm trying to get across today, more than just, that's a great thing to be doing and we'd like to be doing it. This house here, the blue bit, uh, come over this side here, is 40,000 pounds. Now, with a £40,000 house, things are slightly different. Um, the, the joke, and I've heard, I, this is what made me write, uh, do, do this video, because I heard the joke again yesterday. Um, I used to say, and I've heard it in all sorts of little places, I'll just colour in my, my uh, purchase price here. So the purchase price is £40,000. Yes, there are places in the country where you can buy houses for forty and fifty thousand pounds. We're working in six areas like that. I'm buying houses in six areas where you can buy houses for that amount of money. The joke was, uh, you buy a house in, and I've heard it in Northampton, Nottingham, Derby, Rotherham, um, in Bucknell, uh, Mansfield. Also, you buy a house for let's say fifty thousand pounds. You spend ten thousand pounds on it. It's worth fifty thousand pounds. That's the joke. So. The, the joke comes from people who understand this and they're not seeing the uplift. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So when I hear that joke, my ears prick up uh, because I know that that's where some money is about to be made. Because, get my pens out, what colour do I need? I need a, a green one and a red one. Your renovation on this £40,000, my house, £40,000 house, might be 10 grand still. Might be 15. And then the question becomes, what is the house worth? With a 100,000 pound house, you're almost certain what the end valuation will be. And we've got loads of comparables and um, uh, 
notes and you know, on, online systems to check what the thing is worth. With this price, with this, this £40,000 house, you've got a great big question mark on the comparables there. Who knows? Honestly, who knows? Um, we have, in this particular bit of the market, um, you, you have the situation where there's not a lot selling at this moment, that's why they're £40,000. Um, most of the ones that are selling are selling to investors because they need doing up. Um, every now and again, you've got an owner occupier that sells something that looks absolutely fine, but then and it, and it goes at a, at a cheap rate, and that sort of knocks the comparables too. I know for an absolute fact, because I've done it in all those places where those jokes got made, I've done it in every single location. We have never bought a house for 40 or 50,000 pounds that hasn't doubled in five years. Um, I bought plenty of houses for 38, 42,000 pounds, spent eight, nine, 10, 11, 12,000 pounds on them, and they are now worth five, six, seven years later, 80, 90, 100, 120,000 pounds. I've got one or two that have been bought a long, you know, longer than that, seven, eight years ago, that are now worth nearly 200,000 pounds. That's where the money is. Um, that's a great deal, and I'll buy them all day long. And there's a lot of money in it, but if you're 100% certain that it's 100,000 pounds, somebody has had their fun here already, in that, in that town, in that location. Where you're not certain what the end value is, um, to the, to the 10,000 pounds, I can tell you now that we, we would expect that end value would be going, I think it's worth 65, 70,000 pounds. When you get the revaluation, it might come into that, it might come in, I've seen it right in the past, coming back in, well, I'll just give you what you paid for it and plus what you spent on it. Um, just because the surveyors just aren't that sure. It's not for everybody buying those kind of properties, um, the, the cheaper stuff, but it is where I've made most of my money, I'll be totally honest. Um, I still buy these houses all, all the time, uh, the, 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 the sort of traditional model. But if you've got a bit of cash to sat to one side and you can afford to wait, it's, it's only a year or so for this kind of stuff, um, buy it, uh, rent it out. You'll have a great yield straight away because um, that property is cheap and it will still rent for sort of £500 a month, maybe a little bit more. So you'll have a great yield. Hold it for a year, let the value uh, rise. Refinance and you'll probably get most of your money back out, just like this deal, but this deal you could be doing in six months or less. You know, talk about six months, but the payoff is that house, I'd be, I'd be very surprised if it didn't double in the next five years, and that's an extra five, 50,000 pounds, 5,000 um, uh, pounds a year. Sorry, 10,000 pounds a year. 10,000 pounds, five, five years. That's kind of what those properties are making in capital growth. Um, no promises, of course, but that's just the way it's happened for me um, and, and other people that I've seen over the last uh, sort of decade or so in different locations. Right now, um, I'm finding those locations. We're, we're out there looking all the time. So if, if that's you, just be, be in touch. Um, we've got plenty of those uh, deals, deals sat lying around. We can find them. That's the other thing. These deals, the, the sort of more expensive, more traditional deals, harder to find, simple as that. The other ones, take a bit of a punt and uh, you can sort of scratch the surface in areas and you can, you can find the deals. So that was the message for the day. Maybe consider some of these cheaper, 40, 50,000 pound houses. You know, the other deals, the 70, 80,000 pound houses are still just as good as they always were. That's the uh, end of the message. <laughs>